This is a demonstration of using a complementary filter of accelerometer and gyroscope measurements to estimate the tilt angle of an inverted pendulum. So what I have here is an inverted pendulum and then mounted to the arm is an accelerometer and gyro that's communicating over an I2C channel to a Raspberry Pi Pico. And if I turn this system on, on the VGA screen, you'll see three traces appear. Um, the red trace is showing the tilt angle as estimated by the gyroscope, by integrating the gyroscope. The white trace is showing the tilt angle as estimated by the accelerometer. And the green trace is the output of the complementary filter. Um, so it's the angle as estimated by the complementary filter of the accelerometer and the gyroscope. And if I reset this, you can notice just a couple of things. The first thing that you'll notice is that even when I hold the pendulum completely still, the gyroscope develops a bias. The accelerometer does not develop a bias, but you'll notice something else about the accelerometer, which is that it's quite noisy. And the complementary filter is giving us the best of both worlds. It's high passing the gyroscope estimates. So as I move this back and forth quickly, you can see that the complementary output follows the, um, the gyroscope estimates, but it's also um, low passing the accelerometer. So it is not developing the same bias as the gyroscope measurements. You can see that it's developing some bias and that's a consequence of the relative weights that I have for the accelerometer and the gyro contributions to the complementary filter. If I were to change this, so right now, I'm doing the complementary filter of 0.1% accelerometer estimate and 0.999% gyro estimate. If I change that a bit, let's make that 1% to 99%, which I can do through an interface here. So I will make this 0.01 instead of 0.001. What we'll see is that the amount of noise on the complementary estimate has increased a little bit. It's tricky to see, but what's obvious to see is that the, bi the bias of that complementary filter output has disappeared. And I can make this even more extreme. Suppose I made the relative weights 0.5 and 0.5, then what we should see is a lot more noise on the complementary filter output. So let me do that quick. And now what we're seeing is a noisier output from our complementary filter. You can see incidentally that the gyroscope has biased itself right off the screen. Um, and to take this to the absolute extreme, I'll make the relative weights one and zero, which is to say the output of the complementary filter will just be the accelerometer estimate. And what you can see in that case is the green dots disappear and that's because the complementary filter, which is the, or I'm sorry, the white dots disappear because the complementary filter is exactly the same as the accelerometer angle estimate. Let me put this back down to something more reasonable. So I've changed the weights back to 1% and 99%. And now you can see that the complementary filter output is less noisy than the accelerometer and that's because it's uh, high passing the gyroscope estimates, but it is also not accumulating the bias of the gyroscope.